Hey dudes, welcome to Splat from the Past, the only 80s themed horror and sci-fi show where things can get totally radical. Now today, I will be welcoming back uh, my good friend from the Bay Area, Tiffany Vickers. She's coming back on, going to talk about just random stuff. I like to ask her about her recent trip she took to New York and um, maybe talk about what she did over the holidays and stuff like that. Tiff is really funny, really cool. She's like one of the most down-home chicks you'd ever meet in your life. And I love talking to her and stuff. Uh, it's been a long time coming. She was going to come back on about a month later after the last one. But then the fucking holidays got in the way. And the holidays are over now. And I'm having her back on. And it's going to be pretty fucking sweet. I can't wait. So, yeah, here is my my new interview with Tiffany Vickers. Chaos around here. <laughs> it's all good. Well, Tiff. Uh, my job is interesting like that. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good. Yeah, like I said, it's just pure chaos and it's been like nonstop travel. And I don't know. I just feel like there's too many things to do in life. I don't understand. You know, I read this blog about. Uh, the disease, the busy disease, you know, about how busy everybody makes themselves, and it's so true, but right. I don't really know, how, I don't know how to avoid it, you know, if it's not work, then it's cleaning the house, and going to the dentist, and doctor, and whatever else we have to, you know, life is just ridiculous, I just want to, like, live in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how about you, what's new? Uh, let's see. I'm going to be going to LA for a week with my mom in April to go to the horror right. convention. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. Meet up with people. Is your mom actually going to go to the convention too, or does she just want to go hang out in LA? Oh, she's, go oh, she's going to the convention with me. Yeah. And awesome. meet up with, with people I've had on the show and stuff. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. That'll be super fun. When is that April? You said? Yeah. Second, awesome. second week That's of exciting. Something to look forward to. Yeah, second week of April, and then um, in May I'm coming down to San Francisco to film a, uh, my own independently produced uh, pilot for my horror movie show. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so cool how you have all these projects and how you're able to do all these things. That's great. That's really cool. Yeah. That's like good. I told you last time we talked, it's like I'm envious of, you know, you're doing the things that you really want to do, and I'm kind of... You know, I'm envious of you and the people like you who do that. I'm waiting to get to that point again. I just feel like, you know, this is like, again, conflicted. I got kids and my corporate job that, you know, I shouldn't complain. It's a great job, but it's not the dream, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, so, super cool. You're living the life. Yeah, doing my best. And I'm just looking forward to doing that show. It's going to be so inappropriate and awesome. <laughs> well, I can't wait to hear about it. Yes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be putting it on social media so everyone will see it. Oh, yeah. Then I won't miss it, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very I, cool. I got some good news. Here we are again. Yeah. How's the podcast been going? Oh, it's going good. You know, I'm almost at 400 episodes. That's amazing. Yeah. How many do you do per week? It depends on the week. You know, I mean, there's weeks where... You know, everyone's busy because it's like a holiday week or, you know, it's that time of year of taxes yeah, or something. That's true. Yeah, that's but, but this w next few days to a week coming up, it's it, everyone's uh, available again. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, tax time. No, I'm just kidding. I actually just finished my taxes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I owed, I had to pay $3,500. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know. It's the opposite of what you want when you have some tax time. <laughs> Oh, that stinks. Oh, uh, man. How how was... Oh, go ahead. Oh, nothing. I said you're still in Reading, right? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, no, nah, I don't know. Reading's not so bad. It's terrible Maybe. here. It's been a long time since I've been there. It's crack central. Everywhere there's homeless crackheads. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess that happens in those places because there's not the resources to make them go away, right? So I feel like they kind of do gravitate towards those, like, sort of smaller city areas. Like, I don't know. It's interesting. 
Yeah. I mean, they're everywhere, but they that are. Sucks. Yeah, I got some. Sorry, good... What were you gonna ask me though? I cut you off. Well, I was, I was gonna tell you, I got, I got some good news. Um, I got laid on Halloween. <laughs> that's hey, that's a very awesome news and a good day for it. Yes. This. <laughs> Who's this, a lucky uh, person? She lived uh, across the street um, um, in the other side of the complex. She came to the door about a week before. She wanted. I think my mom met her um, just by chance one day, and she like wanted to give her a bouquet of flowers. And I thought that was very nice of her. It was weird and random, but it was nice, you know. She she wanted to give flowers to your mom. Yeah, just for... Oh, that is very sweet. Yeah, just because my mom's a, a nice lady and everything. And then um, she came back um, on um, Halloween night. She was just bored and stuff. And so we had some really good lovemaking. I think, uh, didn't we talk... Is this the same neighbor? We Didn't we talk about one of your neighbors when we talked last time? I think I told you about the neighbor who... Um, was you know giving me the runaround when I first got here? But I oh, that's right. So not her then, right? Not her. No, no, no. She's gone. She's been gone since like uh, like four months in he- over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, look at you with the uh, getting friendly with all the neighbors in some capacity. And that's good. At least we talk to you here yeah. in the you know here in the Bay Area. Your neighbors don't even talk to you. So. <laughs> oh. Oh no no. There's neighbors here that don't talk to you either. But yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, just, yeah, you know, it's like you live there. I live, I literally live on the street of like seven houses for uh, five years, and I met, I don't know, two of the neighbors. Yeah. I was like, how do you only meet two people when you're somewhere for five years and there's so few homes? The weirdest thing, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's like that everywhere. What's that? It's like that everywhere now. It's like nobody, nobody like wants to know their neighbors because they're afraid they might be a terrorist or something. Yeah, they're really just too busy. Again, it's the busyness of you. They're too busy with themselves, you know? Yeah. I remember I remember the last uh-huh. the last time I knew my neighbors, like truly knew my neighbors, was right before 9-11. Oh, you really? You have a correlation like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because to me, I feel like it's just generally in my adult life. But, you know, 9-11 happened my first year of college. So I guess to be fair, I never... You know, I guess I wouldn't have experienced it. So I guess maybe you have a more relevant experience to speak to. I mean, right. I live in the dorms, so <laughs> I did a lot of fucking. You know. I did a lot of fucking um, in the dorms when I was a security guard at Menlo College. <laughs> hey, the dorms is where everything goes down. It's the best experience ever. Yeah, but I'm the... gonna walk into uh, one of my office buildings here in a minute. So I gotta be quiet for a second. Okay. So just don't mind the silence here. Give me a minute, okay? Okay. 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 I had to go pick up something. How how was your trip to New York? Well, uh, well, I had a few. I had thank you so much. I had a uh, three this year already. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I had three. Two of the trips were to Manhattan, and then one of them was to Syracuse and then Long Island. Nice. So they were good. They were good. It was cold, but. Yeah, actually not much colder than here, which is pretty funny. So I got there. I was there at the right time. But it's always fun. I always have a good time in Manhattan. Good food. Uh, I like the people in New York. I think mm-hmm. they are, you know, they're fast talkers, but I can do that. I can hang with that. So it works for me. So I like I like going out there a lot. It's really, yeah, nice break. Yeah, someday I'll go there. Someday. Have you never been? Never. 
I want to know. You've been, sorry, I think you cut out. Did you, sorry, you have been in New York or you have not? Never, never been to New York, but I want to. Yeah, yeah, you like it a lot. Um, it's funny, I had never gone either before work, and now I've gone for work, I don't know, like six times, I guess, but three of them happened to be all in one month. But uh, yeah, so I've never gone purely for fun, but one of the times I went for work, I made sure to take some time off, and I hung out with my friend who lived there, and she took me everywhere, and we got we stayed out till 9 a.m. overdue for a Vegas trip. I haven't been there in years. I love it over there. And that I might end up there if um, LA doesn't work out, you know, next few years. Yeah, you should go there. I guess it's awesome. I love it there too. I got I mean, I'm not sure if I could ever live there because I would probably be too tempted to <laughs> party all the time. I don't know, but maybe maybe it gets old if you live there it probably does. Gamble, yeah. Yeah, all that stuff. I mean I have friends who live there, and they're totally normal, but I also have the friends who have said that you fall into bad habits. There's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of certain types of people that you can kind of get caught up with, like, if you're there consistently, and it's hard to, sometimes it's hard to say no. <laughs> 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 you know, I guess it just depends on how, how much willpower you got. So, for me, I don't know. I probably feel like I was missing out if I lived there, but I wasn't going out all the time. So, but I do love it there. I think that, yeah, you should, and it's, you know, more affordable, but I heard that they're actually getting to be more, they had the fastest uh, price in home home increase, like the fastest, or sorry, the largest percentage of home price increase. Wow. Yeah, so it's crazy because, you know, the Bay Area, we know it's retarded here, but I guess Vegas actually have, like, in, in comparison, the home prices have, like, it was, like, 60% or something insane. So even though the homes are still inexpensive, they've more than doubled in price or they're doubled in price or whatever. So, you know, if you're going to go out there, you better hit them when they're low. I don't know if it's going back down now, but kind of great gaining popularity. Everybody's fleeing the Bay area. So, well, I heard that there's <laughs> some, I heard, everywhere else expensive now. Well, I heard that there's some areas in LA that are actually going down because they know that people are leaving the Bay area and they want to like, you know, get uh, people to live in L.A. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I love L.A. I would totally live there, I mean, depending on the area, but I went there for college, and sometimes I wish I never came back, and I don't know, I, I wouldn't change my life, but I wouldn't, like, wish for it, but sometimes I do think about if I had stayed, because I really enjoy being there, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of fun, and just, I don't know, love the beach, all that stuff, so... Sharon came on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. Who did? Sharon. Oh, really? Yeah. I have to go look that one up. Yeah, she, yeah, we had a nice little chat and stuff. We're gonna. Nice. Do, did she talk about her uh, her recent, you know, adventures in life, or would you guys just kind of talk about random things? Yeah, well, we talked about everything. We she talked about her adventures. We talked about. You know, stuff that we did. We talked about random stuff. It was pretty cool. Uh, next time, she wants to do one where we talk about our favorite movie, Night of the Comet. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Is she doing good? I haven't talked to her. My, um, I don't know if you remember Dave or if you know who Dave is, but Dave is another friend of Sharon's and Dave uh, Garcia. Was of mine, and I went and visited him last night. He had a baby, and she and him had just caught up as well. So, is that about Dave Garcia? Yeah. I, I heard briefly that he had a kid. Yeah, I heard something about that. But she didn't know until uh, <laughs> she didn't know until they had a text conversation like yesterday. So I thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, his baby's three months old now. God, I had so many fun drunk nights with Dave back in the day. <laughs> Dave is good for that. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, Dave is like one of the most fun people ever. So. Oh God, I'll tell you a story. Okay. 
I remember this. There was this one night, this girl that I'd known for like years, and I, I think Dave knew her longer than I did because they're close in age or whatever. And I made out with her um, in the bar, and they were in the middle of a conversation, and I, I like put my hand underneath her skirt and I started fingering her a little bit, right? So every time Dave and I would see each other for like years after that, right? We would like we would like do the shocker, you know, uh, hand gesture, you know? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Dave. <laughs> yeah. We would do that all the time. Like every time we saw each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dave is always good for a nice dirty joke, dirty gesture. <laughs> and he does it so well, you know, he does it so like, not, it's not creepy. <laughs> no, no, he's a great guy. He does it so elegantly. Yeah, no, Dave is one of my favorite people. He was in my wedding, and he's one of my best friends. Yeah, I love the guy. Yeah. I know. Well, I hate to cut this short, but I do have to get back into the office. I just wanted to give you a call because I was heading, heading for a little walk. Okay, that's but, per- uh, that's perfectly good. I'm glad at least you called and we we did this. <laughs> but we'll still have to catch up and talk, share our work versus share our life stories, but that's going to take a longer call, so yeah, we'll, we'll schedule that soon. Well, we'll do, we'll do that down the line. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, you have fun in LA. Oh, thank you so talk much. To you before then. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'll talk to you. have a good weekend too. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay, you too. <laughs> bye, Tommy. <laughs> bye bye, Tiff. Well, there you have it. Tiffany Vickers. Ain't she a sweetheart? Yes, she is. Love having her on the podcast. Even if it was this short, it's all good because at least we got to talk. And we will talk again soon. Also, I like to, uh, I forgot to mention this earlier in the, in the show. I want to say uh, rest in peace, Peter Tork, my favorite member of the Monkees, a guy who was just absolutely hilarious on that show. He always had the best jokes, the best, you know, funny situations. You know, the classic episode where he uh, makes a deal with the devil to play the harp. That's a classic episode of the Monkees. And the devil in that episode was Mario, who owns the novelty store in Pee Wee's Big Adventure, Monty Landis. And so it's really sad that Peter is gone. He was just uh, the funniest guy of the whole bunch. Did not have a good singing voice at all. He was like the only monkey who couldn't sing. He did that song, Your Auntie Griselda, which I posted on Facebook the other day. Really stupid song, but (laughs) it's just really funny because it's Peter. And the music is pretty good. It's got this, like, mid-60s guitar pop slash garage rock sound to it and stuff. And it's pretty cool. So, rest in peace, Peter Tork. Hey, hey, you're a monkey. And you always will be. Um, If you like this video, everyone, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Add me as a friend on Facebook. Join my Tommy Kovac Comedian page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. Well, that's all the time we have this week on Splat from the Past. Until next time, this is Tommy Throwback Kovac saying, There's no shame in living in the past because the present sucks. Later, dudes. <laughs>